Good day. Welcome to another Electric TV video feature, your home for electrical industry news, information, trends, and entertainment. I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. The United States is the newest member of the 10 Gigawatt Club for solar power, along with Germany, Italy, and China. By the end of 2014, that number is only expected to grow, some estimates saying by as much as 80 percent. A record 1.8 gigawatts of new solar power capacity was installed during the first half of 2013, with a small portion of that including one on a house slash wood shop slash television studio in rural Ohio. If the name Scott Phillips rings a bell, it should. He's the host of The American Wood Shop, a show in its 20th season on PBS with more than 300 episodes, teaching do-it-yourselfers how to use everything from a table saw to building architectural wooden accents. The American Wood Shop teaches viewers how to do all that and more. The first thing is I, I love to work with my hands. I'm not happy if I'm not working with my hands. And there are a bunch of different ways to be green, but in the American Wood Shop, we like to recycle wood too. And so there's nothing like building a piece of furniture out of wood that would have been burned or thrown away. As mentioned, this is a working wood shop and a television studio, so double the electricity usage and double the utility cost. And it's how Scott Phillips solved this problem that sets a shining example of the widespread potential of solar power. When you write those monthly checks, and they just keep going up and they add special charges. Oh, we didn't increase your rates, but now you're paying an amp charge and a kilowatt hour tax charge. And it, before long, you start looking for alternatives. I started researching it with Snyder Electric and then it snowballed with Local 8. There's one single 5,000 watt inverter on the north side with an AC disconnect over there tying into the house panel. And uh, this is a, a pretty small installation. It's only got 14 modules, uh, all series together. Uh, one string, one circuit, we call them a string. I'm gonna cut my utility bill by at least another 30%. The job, as mentioned, is small by comparison. Take, for example, the Washington Redskins solar project at FedEx Field, or the Toledo Zoo solar snake both done by the NECA IBEW team and chronicled here on ETV. No matter the size or shape, no matter if you're a homeowner, a municipality, or a building owner, solar just makes sense. And the NECA IBEW team is your labor management choice. The guys at Romanoff Electric were pros all the way, did everything with local weight, uh, installers, electricians trained, they were pros. Uh, never saw the first thing that was unprofessional. They always use the proper safety gear. I know all your people are trained to do that because it only takes one misstep to lead to an accident. It's, uh, it's electricity. You need to do it right every time. The entire process has to go as planned. We have engineered drawings, but we are professional electricians also. As you can see right now, though, we have all of our safety scaffolding. We've got safety warring up at the ridge of the roof to make sure the guys don't go over. We have an anchor point on the other side to uh, tie off their rope grabs and their harnesses so they don't fall off of the roof. We probably are going a little bit overboard, but this is what we do every day, and we don't want anybody to get hurt. Hey, no matter where you live in America, uh, even on cloudy days, you're generating power on a photovoltaic array. And it's not as much, but you're still saving money. So this is something people should be embracing and doing. I'm fired up because when I'm saving money, that means I get to spend more money on my tools, which gives me more capacity as a woodworker. That's all for this edition. Thanks to Scott Phillips and to the American Woodshop for their help with this story. We invite you to check out the show if you haven't done so already. Currently airing its 20th season on PBS in 413 markets in the U.S. and Canada. Or you can log on to wbgu.org slash American Woodshop for entire show archives and more. Be sure to check out Electric TV on our Facebook page. Like us for some behind the scenes extras and follow us on Twitter too. Until next time, I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you then.